seen any of my videos before, you should know who I am. I presume you would have watched um, how to put the saxophone together and how to make a sound out of it in order to get to this stage. Um, I would assume so that would be kind of weird otherwise. So we uh, have the sax, had a little, a little go on it, hopefully made a sound out of it. I really hope that worked out for you and that video was useful. So this is now how to put it away, which you think would be really self-explanatory. This is just a really quick video. Some, some of the stuff I might be saying is really patronising, but I've just got a couple of tips um, for how to keep your sax in good condition. Uh, and that's all about how you look after it and how you put it away. So just very, very briefly, quick unscrew of the right hand side one. Remember the left hand one doesn't really do anything for this for all intents and purposes. And instead of pulling, which mine is fine because it's well used, you might find you can't get it out. Twisty, 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 twist to get the neck joint out. Now hopefully you've not lost your bung. Ta -da. So we pop him in. Now really, you should, should really clean the body of the sacks every time you play. Um, that's the kind of do as I say, not as I do, because I very rarely do. Um, and it's just been fine, it's doing fine. But um, yeah, I mean, they, there's all sorts of, sort of products and things you can have. There's a thing called Pad Saver that uh, lots of saxophonists like. I think they're potentially pad destroyers. There's sort of these fluffy things, fluffy kind of like a giant pipe cleaner that you pop in the, in the main body of the sax and it soaks up all the moisture, which is great, but if you then don't play very regularly, uh, you've just got all this moisture sitting there. Um, so it's, it's good if you're going to play regularly. Um, but yeah, I'll do, a, I'll do a, a video all about products that and, and accessories for the sax that I particularly like and couldn't live without and ones that I'm ambivalent about and ones that I think are just a complete waste of money. So I'll, I'll do a tutorial on that soon. Anyway, so that's, that's the main body, put that away. This bit, now you definitely need to clean this every single time you play. If you think you've just been putting hot air down it on metal, so hot air and metal, if you imagine steaming up a window, you've got condensation and lots of it probably at the beginning, especially when you first start, um, you tend to be a bit spooky. So we definitely need to get that moisture out of here. If you leave moisture in there, you're gonna end up with mold. I have seen some things in my time. Wow, kids, just clean your mouthpiece. Kids and adults, actually, I've seen some pretty skanky adults. And if you're putting that in your mouth all the time and it's covered in mold, you know, you're gonna get ill. So I don't know why I get really aggressive about it. So you've done something wrong, it's you, it's you out there. Uh, yeah, so no. Um, Please clean your mouthpiece. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So I just, sorry, I just automatically started doing stuff. Okay, so I loosened the ligature and that allows me to take the reed out. And then all I do with the reed is just sort of dry it out a little bit. I'm wiping it on my skirt, which is pretty gross really, but I'm just drying it out a little bit. Um, so that I'm left with my empty mouthpiece. Uh, the ligature is irrelevant, we just get him out of the way. Now I need one of these. A pull through cloth. Um, if they've not provided you with one with your saxophone, these are dirt cheap, you just get them from Amazon. I'll, I'll do a link um, in the description box to a pull through cloth. Or if you're, you know, one of these kind of handy maker, handyman types and prefer to save a bit of money, um, you know, all you've got really here is a chamois, ideally, so that it really takes water away, but if not, even just a hanky and some string, and there's a weight on the end, and that's to help you get it through. You could probably do it without the weight, but you know, that's sort of the size of a fuse, a little fuse on the end of, um, that would, would, be a, would be about right. So yeah, link in the description box in case you want to buy one, or I'll be very impressed if you make one. If you do, um, I don't know whether you did this on you, can you post a photo? Please show me a link if you make one. I'd be very impressed. There's no reason why mine has knots in. That's not for any purpose. That's just me being messy and it's ended up with knots in it, much like an unloved necklace. Okay, so we're gonna pop that through the mouthpiece. I'm just trying to find a way to get it through. And wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. And it pops out the other end. And I pull and through it goes. And I'm just gonna do that a couple of times to take away the majority of the moisture and the rest should hopefully evaporate and you can maintain a nice, clean mouthpiece. There we go.
the way it goes. Now, um, storage of these two. So I'm going to twisty twist, twist to get it off, not pull, twisty twist, and he can go away. The neck joint, that's done. Now, the mouthpiece. So in terms of keeping the reed, same sort of thing. Your reed will mould quite quickly. I'm really stingy. I like to keep them going for as long as possible. And I get weirdly attached to certain reeds. If I find one that I like, um, I just don't want to give it up. And they're all, they're all different. So we'll, I'll talk about that in a, in a different video. And check out my video on, um, on reeds. I feel very strongly about reeds, very passionate definitely need to get out more um but anyway so yeah you want to keep hold of this if you can try not to get it chipped you not you don't want to catch it on your clothes you don't want to catch it on the carpet as i said about in the video <clears throat> about putting the sacks together so um i would recommend you don't put it back in its little case if you if you think they're just closed walls and you've put something moist in there it's just asking for condensation to stick to it and this is wood so this is going to mold much more easily than your metal or your plastic mouthpiece so I think it dries out better, this is my opinion, if you keep it on the mouthpiece, but just keep it loose and push it down a little way. So obviously if, you, if it's bumping around your case, nothing's going to happen to it. It's not right up at the end like it was before. And plus it's got that little bit of air space now, so it's not flush like we had it before. And then just loosely do it up. Again, you don't want it flush because if you've got it pressed against there, it's, it's going to get its dead condensation and you want it to actually dry out. So I'm just going to put it loosely like that. And that, that I find is the best way for it to dry out. Don't lose your cap. This is very important. If for some reason you do lose it, you leave it somewhere. Um, again, just get them cheap off eBay. I don't think this is even the one that came with this mouthpiece. Um, I picked this up from somewhere. Yeah, it's got Selma written on it, and this is not a Selma mouthpiece. This is a, a just in case you're interested, this is a Rosso Studio Jazz mouthpiece. Anyway, so I'm going to put the cap on, and it's got little air holes in the end as well, so it should be able to dry out nicely. There we go, and away it goes. Um, you can use the bell for storage. Nothing's going to happen to it. Well, I'd recommend you don't put individual reeds down there. They tend to get stuck within the keys. So if you've got a box of reeds, you can whack it in the bell of the saxophone in, the, in here. Um, so you can, yeah, you can put a box of reeds in there, but don't put individual ones, otherwise you'll lose them. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll put my cleaning cloth down in there, safe, safe as houses. And my neck strap's gonna go in there as well. And away it goes, neat and tidy. I'm ready to hit the road, Jen. Okay, cool, right, so I uh, hope that was useful. Um, sorry if it was horribly patronizing, just a very quick demonstration on how you put it away and how you clean your instrument to keep yourself in good health. No one likes skanky people. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you liked it. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if it was useful. Sorry about the noise, I've got things brief delivery coming past, I think. Uh, okay, it's gone. Uh, if there's anything you'd particularly like me to chat about, I'm good at chatting about the saxophone, then please leave a comment in the description box and uh, if you're interested in what I'm up to or want to see some more uh, photos and videos of me playing, then follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link in the description box as well and yeah, see you in the next video, bye guys!